so we have one more time one more day of this uh of this book before Pesach starts so he's a cautioning for Pesach we'll see maybe maybe we should substitute one class uh and do one extra of this because it's a preparation for Pesach we'll see I need to think about it we have only one more class left before the Pesach okay okay so let's see let's let's start at least uh, kasher and kelim and preparing the kitchen for Pesach right so kasher and kelim kelim is over the utensils all of the pots and pans and uh, preparing for Pesach as we said uh, women do all the extra works for I mean it's not nice for uh, spring cleaning and it's uh, as they say big mitzvah but I would say better learn Torah at bigger mitzvah so send your husband to learn Torah and it would save a lot of energy and money and everything okay so on cleaning let's see at times one is required to cash a utensil or other kitchen wear if uh, a mistake occurred, uh, occurred in any cooking process where the meat and dairy were interchanged or a part of utensil was used in error for meat or dairy the proper cushion method is required additionally before Pesach many kosher um, kosher their uh, kitchenware to be used for, uh, for a home it's free food okay so actually it's very very relevant to our Thursday class right so it's it's all connected right on, on Thursday class we, we were uh, last last time we were learning about the steam from one food goes into another food right and taste all of this uh, the very interesting things and uh, we said uh, many times you, you would need to, to kosher the the pot itself okay and exactly the same procedure we, we should do right on um, uh, whether it was uh, uh, used for meat or, or milk right uh, the the opposite or part of was used for meat or milk or uh, it was uh, simply used for one thing and you want to, to use this uh, utensil this part for, for for Pesach so I would say as I say, always say just buy a separate set right uh, Pesach is only eight days it's not it's not very long so you 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 don't need seven pots and seven frying pans like get uh, maybe two, two of each and it should be enough I think so okay but but if you want to kosher we're going to explain how to kosher things the Gemara tells us that the way the food is absorbed into the utensil uh, dictates the manner in which it is removed therefore any item which is used with the liquid requires Hagalah kashering with liquid to uh, to extract the, uh, that extract that absorbed in uh, absorbed on undersight taste un undesired taste sorry undesired taste a tensile that was used without liquid such as a grill required libum cushion with fire okay so let's try to understand uh, so the, the same way the taste from this food this undesirable taste of course if, if you want to change to another that's uh, we, we call undesirable taste went into this uh, well not, not always so for example um, uh, we kosher just recently one part uh, it was a dairy but it, we, we did not use it like for for a long time we don't cook so much dairy right uh, so and we, we kosher it and make made it a part of okay so it, it's not like it was undesirable and, uh, some time ago it was desirable now it's not so desirable so okay um, so we, we kosher it okay so and uh, the way the same way the taste goes into into the pot the same way it, it has to come out right Me meaning what if uh, if it was pot was used uh, for cooking right for cooking cooking usually with a liquid even deep, deep fries also also considered to be cooking right <clears throat> so it, it has to go through the hagala hagala as we're going to explain like uh, deepen into the boiling water and that's and that's how the taste should come out and if it was uh use he, he said the grill i'm not sure not even a grill if you use it uh, even uh, as a frying pan without oil like or with very little oil so it has to go through the fire okay so let's see <music>